My name is Councillor Elwyn Watkins. I'm hoping to be the Liberal Democrat MP for Oldham East and Sudworth after the next general election. I'm here with Ray and Kate to talk about the replacement of Trident. What's the main reasons why you're against the replacement of Trident? Well, because I'm totally against Trident for a start. Right. Uh, it's a nuclear weapon system. Right. I think uh, it's not what we could state, uh, an independent nuclear deterrent. Right. It's clearly not independent. It's totally dependent on the Americans. The whole system was designed by the Americans. And deterrent, well, it's clear to, could be, must be clear to everybody now that it's not keeping us safe, deterring any conflict. Here we are with Afghanistan. What did the Trident do to prevent that? And, of course, probably uh, for you as well, the most important issue at the moment is for everybody, all the citizens, um, whether they be old and Rochdale or wherever across the UK, it's the cost. Now the government, says, the government says it's going to cost 20 billion. Now to me that's an extortion amount anyway. But what are your views on perhaps the government cost estimates for Trident? Well I think they, they're underestimating it on purpose. Right. I mean if we add in all the costs, it's likely the replacement to be 76 billion pounds. And it, it could go even higher than that because we don't of course always know forward costs, right. do we? We can't estimate how much that would be. As you at university, £76 billion pound on a nuclear weapon system when I'm paying stupid amounts in top up fees and living costs. It's just quite an insult, to be honest, I think. I feel like that the government has, has, hasn't got its priorities in order in that sense. What the government's asking is for ordinary people like yourselves to be paying thousands of pounds every year for a weapon system which we have no enemy. I don't know who we're going to be firing these cruise missiles at or the new Trident missiles at. We've had the end of the Cold War now. Uh, we clearly that we do have enemies around the world, but it seems as though a nuclear weapon system is totally inappropriate to fighting those enemies. If, if a state feels that they need to get weapons to match ours, it's not, it's not a deterrent, it's encouraging nuclear proliferation. Like some states might feel they have to match our nuclear capabilities. We should set an example to the rest of the world to say, we don't want any more nuclear weapons. Not only are they very expensive, but they're very inappropriate for the new world order we're supposed to have. Let's try and make friends with people around the world rather than try and bomb the hell out of them with weapons that are inappropriate. Absolutely, and then you can spend the money on nurses and teachers and equipping our soldiers in, you know, in the wars that they're already in. Let me put it clear on record that if you elect me as your MP for Old Mr. Sadworth, I will vote against any tried of replacement full stop. No equivocation, no uh, get out clauses. I'm against the replacement of Trident for many of the reasons given here, but primarily because it's based on costs. And I know, Ray, that this is something which I think lots of parliamentary candidates will be saying hopefully over the next few months. Mm. If, if you're watching this out there, uh, we want, from CND, we want you to raise it with your own MP, ask the same question, and we want you to ask them to support uh, all the disarmament negotiations and that, in fact, that this question comes up in Parliament for debate. And then that when they're doing the defence review, that they include Trident. How can you have a defence review without Trident? Well, by the people that say it doesn't matter who you vote for, uh, you know, it doesn't, politics doesn't matter anymore. Well, that's just not the case, is it? I mean, I think people now more than ever are realising that, you know, you have to really pay attention to what's going on. People are really feeling the pinch, you know, financially at the moment. And this apathy it kind of like allows governments to kind of like be less accountable for their actions. So I would strongly encourage, you know, not just young people, but everyone to be constantly aware of what the government's doing so they know how it will affect them.